All right, so in this lesson, we're going to show you how you can add some shadow to the background of this text. Now, if you already watched a video showing you about shadow to shapes, well, this one's a little bit different. Uh, it's just a couple more steps that you have to go through in order to get that same effect. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. So I always tell you to click on the shape here and let's see what it is first before we start tackling the problem. So if we look down here it says text, all right? So we need this to be a path in order to create a shadow to the path. So with this shape selected or these text selected, let's change it to a path. So I'm going to go up here to path object to path. Now it tells me that it's a group. It's a group of 8 objects on this layer. All right. So we need to ungroup this first. Uh, before we move on to the next step. So with the text or with this group selected, I'm going to go up here and ungroup it. So I'm going to go to object and then I'm going to go ahead and ungroup. So now when I click on an individual letter, it tells me that it is a path. Okay, so we're halfway there. All we have to do for this is we need to union unionize the path so that we can create a nice uniformed shadow around uh, all the letters together at one time. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to go to path union and that basically fuses it together and it thinks that it's one big huge path. See that? One big huge path. All right so now we're ready for the shadow. So let's go ahead and change the color of this just so we can see what's going on. And I'm going to go up here to Path, and then I'm going to go here to Linked Offset. So you see this node here? That's what we're going to select with our mouse. And your node may be on the far left. Uh, it just depends upon where that, uh, that little red node is. And so I'm going to left-click Hold, and I'm going to go ahead and drag. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and change this color to black so we can see the black background. And that's how you can make a nice uh, shadow uh, of the text. So we're not done yet because once you have your solution on where you want that node to be or how thick you want that shadow to be, uh, you of course can release. Then I'm going to go up here to this tool, the selection tool. And what I want to do on the back layer here, because it, right now it says it's a linked offset and we, we need things to be a path. So with that selected, I'm going to go up here to Path, Object to Path, and that's it. Now we're, now we're done, and we can actually go and save this as an SVG, and we should be good to go. So you, you may want to separate it like this and just go to, up to File save as, and then name it your SVG file. All right, so that's how that works. Hopefully you enjoyed the video.